Hey guys, Spooks here, and welcome back to some more Man of Medan. Now we are just back, getting back to the Duke of Milan. So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relevant. And this meatball... Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? Oh, you don't want to know, tells. brother. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Oh, I'm sure he's helping Fliss. Maybe he Fliss. decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. So, so don't how does it right feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Boat. Julia Smith? I'll stick with my own name. Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans, eventually. Provocative. Now you're speaking my language. I'm taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. You know, I'm that's so what Addie said too, no. and I didn't plan anything. Of course I was gonna say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, Addy thought I, was I could joking. see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. It took me like two minutes to be like it. Uh, it's I not a joke. You, <laughs> Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. People keep getting lost going to find the hey, beer. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's Do go get him. Want? Sure. Not even gonna stop. Coast Guard! The Coast Guard are here! What? Everybody flush their meth! We gotta get rid of all this meth! We can't let them take us alive! What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, she didn't like that. Oh, brother. <laughs> Literally. Seriously, you can't fuck around like that, Julia. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. I thought it was pretty funny. I thought that was going to be the less serious one, actually. Turns out I was wrong. All right, now that everybody's here... Let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. I forgot I had that. So, how's it feel to be a man post-proposal? Relieving, honestly. Oh, I thought I could, like, look through the picture. Oh, there we go. Boop. 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 Why'd you do it on the dime? Boop. I wanted Boop. it to be memorable. It's not... Oh, whoops. Said Air Force. Popping the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. I'm waiting for there to be like a jump scare in here. Never thought you were the settler. Yeah, well, that was disappointing. Proud of you, bro. I couldn't have done it without such a good bro. Oh, well. bro. 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 Wait, what do you mean? You told me to follow my heart. Uh, one, I'm not that sappy. And two, I was talking about med school. Still, we're over the top, bro. It's not a different picture is it? I'm gonna double check. Are we going again tomorrow? Nope. Okay. Better safe than sorry. Uh yeah. It seemed a little too dangerous for my blood. Don't sweat it. I'll go down with you and we'll be fine. This uh, way. I'm gonna go no. find Julia. Julia's having a hard time. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Oh, oh struggling. no, not yet. I got distracted. Yeah, just just go through my stuff. Yeah, make yourself a Got home. It. Thanks, bud. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Easy, tiger. We should get back. <laughs> right here. Get wrecked. You'll get no resistance there. 
All right, everyone. Check it out. Why would you say that? Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? I want to find some sunken treasure. What do you think, Adam? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? Is it like It takes a couple cursed? hours if the weather stays steady. And that's what the... Wow. You find anything else? First Other I found this flight plan in a tube and I had to get it out. And it said that this was a rescue plane from some U.S. base near here. And the whole thing was full of life rafts, you know? But one of them was missing, which was kind of weird. After the war, they refitted long-range bombers to be rescue planes. Very resourceful. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. It was literally a piece of paper. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I thought Maybe. that was going to be the nice thing to say. I don't know you. But... You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. Excuse me. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brett, you got a fun ghost story, right? <laughs> yeah, he was not a like story uh, at all. Happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Do it. Let's hear it. I bet tension. you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed yarn. up, actually. Scare away, little bro. I okay. This off this again. Here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards, and for a dollar. He told me his secrets. Seems legit. The oh, lighthouse you, stood atop an atoll, for a isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. To the woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Just people. reporting the facts, cliches and all chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. You know, sometimes you have to embellish the facts a little to get at the deeper truth. It's okay. Okay, so who did it? So the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here, in the closet. Ha, <laughs> the husband, eh? <laughs> So is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseas. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Why would you look closer? closer. And he sees it's his own face and then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, it's so ah, gross. Horrible. Hey, oh, super that twist. Nice. <laughs> nice okay. one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the Pretty cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you Who says all things had your like fun. That? We should all turn in. There's some weather heading our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? 
the internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four, good buddy. And I'm out. Something bad's gonna happen. Connor was wearing a sailor Massachusetts shirt. Are these the ghosts that we summoned? Because we stole their paper from their vent? It's a weird way to open a door. That's a rain car. These are the fishermen. Okay, then there was that vision of the the like half blind dude shooting. Conrad as he went to get on a boat, so I need to not get on a boat. Fuck yourself, you piece of shit. Billy Bob's better. You're the little lady.
Maybe I should stop trying to turn around. What do you fuckers want? Well, that's not good. Stop! Please, just stop. Slow down. Easy. And then a guy does not like me. Be on your best behavior, little man. I'll be compliant. Okay. Okay. So that probably wouldn't lock from the outside. Lipstick. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna T-shirt. They haven't hit Fliss. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Uh, did you see my brother? No. But I'm, I'm sure he's fine. These guys probably just want money or something. Surprise. Okay, they're coming. Well, looks like we're not gonna take them by surprise. Fuck! Motherfuckers! Hey, hey! Are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. Julia, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I just didn't eat for two months, but it's okay. It's okay. Okay. I think I could use that as a weapon. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Got a gun. Yeah, I'm not gonna try to take that. That's right. We can catch him by surprise. Take him out. Mm. Uh, we should just rush him. Take the gun. They can try to fight back, but if we had the gun, they'd be forced to surrender. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Yeah, this seems like a really bad idea. We're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I climb out the window, climb around the side, and hit them from there. We'll take them from the other side. Don't leave us That's here, okay? seven seconds. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. 
That was stupid. this. Careful! Don't make this worse. Think about what you're doing, boy. Conrad, come on! We can beat these assholes! This kid's trying to kill me, Orson. I'm not going near that boat. <laughs> Bring them downstairs. As I should, Conrad, take a shot. Use it if you have to. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de cons! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Oui. Olsen! Come here! Let's see. Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goo? All we have is the paper, but everyone's alive. Oops. Shot. We could have gotten the boat back and you blew it. Yeah, I get it. All right, shut the fuck up. I'm pretty sure I was gonna die. There is no harm in just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has got to be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her. Shut up, Alex. I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. How dare Are you? you? Out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us that up. That asshole. Put a cork in it. It was a trap, I feel like, Sit still. right now. Follow you. They would have just said so. Hey, you. Billy Bob. Come with me. Hey, leave her alone. <sighs> Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy? And there'll be consequences. Yeah, I probably shouldn't. But like I've kind of Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Do we read you? Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. 
Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance, not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A okay out here. We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. I did what you asked it about. I could have died. than with these psychos. Oh, oh yeah, not here. great. He could get killed down there. Brad's yeah, I'm sure he's fine. Cool. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Didn't we have, like, a vision about Brad? Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. But they weren't. <sighs> Where are you going? Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Yes. <laughs> okay then, we will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. So not everything is as it seems. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story, but here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. I'm sure it's fine. That sounds like something important. Oh, that's big. That's probably. 
suddenly very important. Go! Can I have my shoes? All this rusty metal with algae on it. I I really want to die of tetanus. Disappointing. This whole place is a floating death trap. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Give me chills. <gasps> My bracelet. Not sign up for a trip to Creek Town. The mask of madness is now showing. You, stick up so far, it's you jump dare to look death in the eye. I don't really have a choice. I mean, this would be really cool, but it would be absolutely terrifying. Hey, was that one of the dudes that I played? Is it Chuck or Joe? What the hell do these dickheads want with us? Ah, oh, damn! What's that? Oh shit! That's a rat. Oh. Still getting used to the fixed camera angles. Watson, you're in box to see. Okay, all of you, into the room. Whatever you say, Billy Bob. I see a picture. I see two pictures behind Pliss's head. Hey, it's piss black in here. Give us the light. <laughs> Not expecting them to actually give me a lane. Who am I playing? I was playing Conrad, right? What the hell is this fucking place? Dude, even those meatheads seem spooked. You think this ship is the Manchurian gold? We are in the vicinity of those coordinates. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. Nah. Second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. Then do what? Yeah, man. This whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. We already tried to so escape, same. didn't Tetanus. exactly work we'll out. You. We gotta get back to the boat and find Brad. What happened to him? No idea. They swiped our distributor cap. Gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. 
So can't we just, like, hotwire it or something? You cannot hotwire this chip your cap, okay? These well, assholes knew exactly what they were doing. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that, uh... I don't know what my microphone's I might have gotten up. things kind of wrong back there. Uh, I'm picking something up, though. Me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us. So, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I. Hmm. Well, your apology is kind of accepted. Cool. Cool. I guess. I guess I'll accept it. Hello. What happened here? Gangland, 1947. Archaeologists missing in Iraq. 24 British archaeologists have gone missing in the Zagros Mountains of Iraq. The Hodgson expedition arrived in the kingdom in September last year with the stated goal of unearthing so, when we told you the this would be a quick little adventure, Manchurian gold. Should we expect an itemized bill for all these uh, extras? Yes. Kidnapping, 750 a.m. I wonder why this was ripped off. Ship mascot doggy. It's not charging us for the damage to your boat. Kinda of thought that was I am now. Give me a secret. You think this but, okay. ship works? Hi, baby doll. I miss you like crazy. Three months until my next leave and I'm jumping into your arms. Three months. I've been on some shore leave with the guys, had a few beers, but don't worry, I'm keeping Alex. everything ready for you if you catch my drift. I'm really scared. How's work? I hope that boss of yours is leaving you alone. I know you can take care of yourself, but I feel helpless being so far away from you, and I want to keep you safe. So that was Jay Riviera, so I wonder if that was Joe. Real, real creepy. And there's glasses. Oh, I think Toby woke up. Wait one sec. Right. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. There's gotta be a painting in this room. Hmm. So I can get into that other room. What's going on? Just enjoying the perks of our all-inclusive cruise. I found a letter, Fair by enough. the way. Some guy was writing to his little lady back home about all the ghosts and crap on the ship. Ghosts? Uh, yeah. I mean, there aren't really ghosts here. That letter didn't right? say anything about ghosts. Let's hope we don't run across any ghosts. We got our hands full already. I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. Look, those meatballs are probably just looking for some get-rich-quick Manchurian gold. Which may not even exist. I mean, what if they don't find anything? Then they probably then we're fucked. So, what do we do? We wanted an adventure, right? So let's adventure the shit out of this popsicle stand. <laughs> you gonna man up and be a hero? I'll I'm do whatever already you a want. hero. Duly noted. Yeah. Okay, well, we're not gonna do anything from in here. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. All right, yeah, catch you later. Prisonnier? On est en prison? Charles. 
On sera bientôt riche si vous la fermez. Et si vous faites ce que je vous dis de faire Il y a quelque chose qui cloche ici. Je sais pas, cette... cet endroit est bizarre. Olson, on devait seulement les voler. Mais là, on se retrouve coincé sur ce ratio de merde qui pue la mort. Et on a des prisonniers Ça va trop loin, tout ça. Pour gueule Fermez-la tous les deux. Je suis votre capitaine. Et je vous ordonne d'obéir à mes ordres. So even they've kind of lost control of the situation. Can I tell them that? Guess not. I'll just, I'll just keep that to myself. Mm -hmm. Really no paintings in here? Come take a look. Any luck? I can't get it open. Hey. Maybe you should Come be here. better. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. I don't know where a vent like this would go. Not in this room. Wherever it leads, it can't be worse than here. You want me to just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. I don't want yeah, to. Yeah, okay. Conrad, you do it. All right. Barricaded, they'll know what's up. Hey! Yeah, you, Long John Silver and shit? Uh, what are you guys doing out there? Pieces of eight and shiver me timbers, you one legged fuck faces? Yeah, no, you. I'm gonna rip your pirate parents off your shoulders and stomp them into rainbow colored stew. I'm warning you, I am an American citizen. You really want my president coming after you guys? Because he will. Each and every one of you personally. Hey! Can you hear me? I I'm talking to you. Hello? Hurry up! Maybe I should have barricaded it, because then they would have stayed trying to... be some stairs around here but not everything is as it seems so we don't know make sure it wasn't still paused oh i'll go in here another clipboard da, da, da. Whoa. special security precautions on this mission additional procedure will be adopted by soldiers on guard duty guys nobody's allowed into 3a seriously nobody Double guard duty on all doors and on all watches. No talking, no playing of games, no smoking, no alcohol, no gambling. Court martialed. Ooh. Some pretty serious stuff. I'm willing to bet I'm probably going to end up in 3A.
probably shouldn't be going into all these places. Get attacked by demons or something. Just some dirty laundry. And then there's the mystery. Smelly socks and pungent briefs. I didn't think he'd stop talking if I went out of it. Oh, there's that same dust that was <laughs> when the soldiers were there. It's still pretty sure it's like a bio weapon or something. And they were transporting, and then when the lightning like struck that, it broke it and got in the water and diluted it and sent it everywhere. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that sent chills up my spine. I don't know if you guys saw, but Jenny May was over in the right-hand corner. I just don't know where the hell they all went. There should have been dozens of people on board. Hundreds. How could they all just vanish and leave all of their stuff behind? Something doesn't add up. Where's the you are here arrow? Oh gosh. Oh that's I have not seen a painting in a long time and that worries me. I feel like I'm missing one. Oh gosh, that's I'm still reeling over that. That terrified me. Dear Eels, your name's Eileen. I'm finally coming home. This is it, darling. One last trip across the Pacific, and I'll be back to you and the girls. I can't wait to see your faces. Tell Ned and Nancy to get excited. They're going to see Daddy real soon. And he's got gifts for y'all. I'm sure glad to be back at sea. It's hotter than an Oklahoma summer out here on land, and there's no escape from it. I've been all right because I got your letters to keep me going. They censor them, which is probably for the best, because sometimes the others steal them to read. And I don't like them reading our letters. I know. That was really close to that turtle. Oh gosh, that was. I do not feel safe. Just the visage of. I just can't believe this is happening. What the hell happened to Brad? You think he's still on the Duke? Oh yeah, what did happen to Brad? That's probably not good. Hopefully he's not dead. You hear that? If by that you mean that Kimo This place is fucking massive. I'm gonna try to remember to edit it so that it shows Jenny. That was terrifying. If I do edit it, I'll try to put it right here. If I edited, if I edited it, oh man, wasn't that spooky? What is this? No. Oh. June nineteenth. I identified problem areas with structural brittleness and cracks in some sections of cargo hold one. I instructed our shipwright to carry out the necessary welding repairs. I advise the captain to go easy, especially in bad weather. Any aggressive movement could cause this ship to break its back. I responded to a complaint that some electronic equipment had been malfunctioning recently. I discovered growths of tin whiskers around some of the components. I cleaned and added lead to the soldiers, to the soldiers which has stopped the equipment shorting out and could slow down growth. I don't... I'm not mechanically inclined enough to understand what, what was said. Except for, like, this ship really could just break in half at any moment. I got that part. I, think I, have to, I feel like I need to go back and rewatch this. Just maybe I'm, like, just going crazy. Hey, there was something there. Yum. Why am I picking this up? Why would I do that? 
shadow scared me. This does not bode well for the rest of the game. <laughs> Sorry, I want to get as many secrets and hidden things as I can find. The skipper has KO'd the booze for this whole trip. There's nothing like being sober to make you realize just how quiet the ship is. There was a fight between those dumb schmucks, Wilson and Anderson, right after we sailed. The Ferris nipped that in the bud real quick, and it's been quiet as a church ever since. I got talking with a feller who had helped load up the ship. He told me that they put a bunch of coffins on board, which isn't so weird maybe, but... B, he said there was some guy who made sure the coffins were all put in one of the holes just right. Real precise, not the treatment you'd get if you were any old grunt. Got me thinking, who could be in those boxes? I was curious about that as well. Booze was a bum loss. Perez said he felt drunk after four cups, but I said he was talking baloney. It was like dirt, it was like ditch water. Perez said that they made hooch from some supplies they lifted, meeting up later down on six to check it out. Just heard one of the guys here snuck a look at those boxes. Gonna find him and see what he saw. Maybe he can even help me get in to take a look. It's all set. He reckons we can sneak me in. We're gonna get a look tonight. Maybe you shouldn't do that. Hmm? Maybe that's just straight up not a good idea. Oh, hey. Focus. Oh, that's bad. Okay, I cannot let Billy Bob catch Alex. In the offing is what it was labeled. Make sure I'm not missing anything. I'm seeing if I could watch that again. I guess I'll just stare at the camera. We make some sounds, I feel like we could scare him. Oh, this Billy Bob. I should probably be careful. Ooh, I need that. Look. It's the distributor cap from the Duke. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. What's on? Like that. I'm gonna go get it. All right. Now's our chance. Grab it. You gonna watch my back? What do you think I've been doing? Okay. Keep an eye out. This feels dangerous. I wasn't as high up as I guess I thought I was. Holy crap! Get out! I don't like that it like specified that I had hit a loose bolt. I feel like that's gonna screw me over. Come here. This is bad. God damn it, they're taking place! Shut the fuck up, man! Where are the others? Oh that's not good. Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas! Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. We're gonna follow well? them. Don't let them out of your sight. 
That's bad. What are we doing? I thought we were following them. We gotta keep our distance. This way we can get ahead of them. Let's hope it's faster. I got this. Okay, we're gonna save and end right here. So we're gonna go see what's over here real quick. Ah, figured there'd be something. Internal memorandum. To the makeshift chapel. To all crew, oh area C7 has been converted to a temporary now? chapel of rest for the duration of the voyage. All crew are required to be silent and respectful when passing near section C7. Or 7C, sorry. Okay. We're going to leave this here. Uh, thank you guys all so much for joining me. If you like this, let me know down in the comments below. If you didn't see Jenny, definitely recommend re-watching it and going to that. I think I'm going to leave it out of the edit. Because um, I want you guys to get the shock of seeing it as it's going and as it's moving. But until next time, guys, stay spooky. Toodles! Toodles!